Hey, this is Steve with Dab11. In this tutorial, we're going to look at using reminders on a custom Alexa skill. In the uh, the last tutorial that I did, we looked at timers, and they're really similar but um, different in that uh, the reminders you can set to recur and uh, to, to go off at a certain point in time in the future or based on a, a relative date. And we're going to look at using voice permissions so a user doesn't need to go into their Alexa companion app to enable permissions to use timers too. So we're going to be working with a template from dabblelab.com. So you can head over to dabblelab.com slash templates and grab this one here. It is template number 20. If um, you'll need to log in, if you don't have an account, you can get one by just clicking on that need an account link. And once you've logged in, you can download the source code here. And then once you've downloaded the, um, the template, you just want to unzip it. And then all the code that we're going to need is in here. Uh, but before getting into that, head over to the Alexa developer console. And you can get there by going to developer.amazon.com. And you'll want to log in there. If you don't have an account, you can create one. Uh, those are free as well. And then uh, you want to navigate to where we are right now, and you can do that, this little ellipse menu here in the upper right, the Alexa developer console. And then from here, we're going to create just a basic Alexa hosted skill and use the, uh, the, the template code to wire that skill up so that the reminders work. And then I'll talk through what is going on in the, uh, the template code. In this template, these um, are really designed for just learning the functionality and uh, to provide you with a code example that you can use to um, integrate the functionality into whatever skill you are building. So let's um, start with create a skill, give it a name, and I'm going to call it uh, reminders. And this is going to be a custom skill, Alexa hosted skill. We'll create skill and choose the Hello World template, which is the default. We're going to just copy the template code that we downloaded over that. So it really doesn't matter. This takes a, a second to set up. So while that's going on, I'll go over here to the, uh, the template and tell you what we're going to need from here. We're going to need um, two things. We're going to need this index.js file here, and we're going to need the um, this one here, the model, the en-us uh, json file here, and we'll copy those in once this is done setting up here. And like I said, once we do that, we'll go into the code and I'll tell you what's uh, what's going on and um, what you you need to do to make this uh, make this all work. So should be done here right about now. Perfect timing. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is um, is just set up the interaction model from the template code. So from the, uh, the build tab, which is the default, if you just go to the JSON editor here, we're going to replace this here. And you can do that by clicking this drag and drop and then navigating to the um, template code and the models folder and then this en-us.json is what we need and then you can save that the other thing that you need to do here is you need to um, toggle the permissions for reminders on so this is going to normally uh, well it's going to prompt the user but normally this would cause the user to have to go in when they enable the skill into their companion app and uh, provide permissions. So let's see, we want the minders here toggled on. And then um, we'll go back over here and we'll just, the invocation name is reminders example. We'll save that and then build that. And while that's building, we'll go over here and set up our backend code and all we need for this is we just need the code from this file here from the index.js that is included with the template so this one right here and you can just open that up with a text editor and I'm going to open it up with text edit and then you want to copy all of this or select it all and then copy it and then go back over here into the code editor 
and just select everything there and then paste that code right over it and then save it and deploy it and once it's done deploying then we can test it out and then we'll go back and I'll talk about what's uh, what's going on in here okay so go over to the test tab from here if you're prompted to allow your microphone go, you can go ahead and do that it's nice to be able to test using your voice and then um, toggle on development for testing. So I say it, it's nice to be able to test with your voice here, but for reminders and um, uh, alarms and things like that, you can't really test that using the, uh, the Alexa simulator. You need to have an Alexa device. So I've got an Alexa device that we'll use here to, to test this out, but you still need to enable the uh, development for testing. So the invocation name is reminders example. So we'll um, give this a try. Alexa, open reminders example. This skill needs permission to access your reminders. To set reminders, you need to allow reminders example to create and edit reminders for this skill. Would you like to do that? Yes. Okay. You can change this permission at any time by going to Reminders example in your skills in the Alexa app. Now that you've provided permission, you can say, set a reminder. Set a reminder. All right. I've scheduled a reminder for you. And this will go off in 15 seconds. Here's your reminder from Reminders example. Learn about reminders. Okay, so that's it. That's what the template does. Let's take a look. Alexa, Here's stop. Let's take a look at what's uh, what's happening in the code. So the, um, the the first part is that the skill needs permission to set reminders, and we're using um, voice permissions to do that. So in the um, launch request handler here in the code you'll see that being set up here. So it's looking to see if um, permissions are already provided and if not uh, using this um, to request permissions here. So uh, adding a uh, directive to request permissions. And then um, if permissions are already provided, then it can, the, the skill just has one, um, one intent, which is to set a reminder, which is really pretty basic. Again, this is just for uh, an example, but what it does is it sets a 15 second reminder and you can see that happening here, which is in this um, create reminder intent handler. And this is a, uh, a uh, basically going to handle a call from the Alexa service that is going to, um, to to set the reminder. And you've got a couple of different reminder types that you can use. The one that's being used for this example is one that schedules the timer relative to the current time. And so you set the, the time offset in seconds. And in this case, for the example, I just used um, 10 seconds. So it's basically setting the timer for 10 seconds from the current time. And the, the time zone being used is uh, Eastern time zone, uh, New York. And then you've got some um, some options down here. So the when the timer's up, it speaks this, learn about timers is the name of the timer, but you could change that. And that is it. So this um, is a pretty simple example, but if you're looking at incorporating timers into your skills. Hopefully this code will help you um, make sense of that. If you have any questions, uh, you can leave those and I'll respond just as quickly as possible. If this was helpful and you're watching this on YouTube, please like the video. If you want more videos like this, you can go to uh, dabblelab.com slash tutorials or for more templates, dabblelab.com slash templates and Thanks so much for watching.